What's up brawlers? My name is Ethan and welcome to another Brawlhalla video. Today I will be talking about 5 mistakes that every Brawlhalla player makes. I am a top 10 Brawlhalla player of all time placing top 5 in the last 2 world championship tournaments so hopefully my advice will help you guys avoid some easy losses so that you can climb. Before this video starts, I just want to encourage you all to subscribe to the channel. It's free and you can cancel it at any time. Another thing is please make sure to comment and like because it will help my channel grow even further. So let's go ahead and talk about where players go wrong on their journey to higher elo. These 5 mistakes aren't related to just gameplay, there are a bunch of factors that will determine your success in ranked. My goal is to stop having you guys make these mistakes so I will be given the best explanation I can in a short amount of time. Moving on to the first mistake players do, and it doesn't really have to do with ranked at all. So many players struggle to climb because they struggle on finding a legend or a weapon to main. If you've ever seen players like Boomy or Sandstorm, you notice that they stick most of the one legend throughout a tournament, such as Sandstorm's uh, Jay Yun or Boomy's Lucian for example. The worst thing you can do is to try and play these legends you aren't familiar with. It could be even worse if you just end up playing multiple legends because you're never improving on one thing. If you really want to climb, you need to design a weapon to main. It doesn't even have to be a legend. For example for me, I love playing Spear, so I chose my legend off that which is a Tori. I also love playing Wushong. And I love playing sword too, so I switch to Val sometimes. Find a weapon that you enjoy the most, and from there you can pick two legends that have six of weapon combos that you like. From there, the experience from these two legends can help you win a ton of games all the way up to diamond. Moving on to number two, another mistake a lot of people make is just not having the right mentality. I notice when people queue, they are never focused on what their bad habits are or what their opponent is doing. They are just playing to play. Don't get me wrong, playing for fun is not a bad thing, but if you want to improve, you need to focus on the things you need to work on. So remember, whenever you queue ranked, you need to play with the purpose. If you start to focus on every little thing while you're playing, you'll be able to shoot up out of your elo in no time, and I promise you that. Alright, enough about legend picks and mentality. The next common mistake people have is bad dodge habits. Whenever I'm coaching a goal player or just watching my friends play, they just dodge the same way over and over and over again, and they always wonder why they're eating 60 damage strings, getting zero to death, why they can't hit me and stuff like that, it's because their dodging is just really really bad. They either keep dodging in, they keep spot dodging, they keep dodging up, it's just that they keep dodging one way and they never mix anything up. Remember, dodging is the most important defensive mechanic in the game, so most of your plays or the plays that are made on you should be based on where they dodge or how you dodge. Another important thing is panic dodging. I notice lots of low elo players use their dodge as a way of movement, and this is terrible practice. It leaves you without any escape, and worse, no dodge at all, so if you get hit, people can just end up getting a free combo in. Remember, it is important to start mixing up your dodges if you ever catch yourself dodging the same way, because it can decide whether you eat 60 damage, or you avoid that string and successfully punish the opponent to maybe win the game. Another big mistake that players make, especially in lower rank, is not having good movement. All players need to work on their movement. I cannot stress enough how many players I've seen that just don't know the amount of movement options they have when they are playing and it blows my mind. If you are silver, gold, platinum, and even diamond, it is crucial to practice all the possible movement options so you can optimize your gameplay to the best of its ability. Some of the important movement options that I'll name here are dash jumping, dash ledge canceling, dash spot dodge, dash dancing, learning how to consistently fast fall, and stutter steps. These are just a few of the movement options out of the many others that with practice will make you a better Brawlhalla player than you already were. If you want to check out all the possible movement options, I will be linking an ultimate movement guide in the description down below. Moving on to the last mistake that people have in gold elo and plat elo, some diamond, it just depends, is that they don't know how to avoid 6 spammers and people just spamming light attacks in general. Yeah, I know we all hate playing against people who just spam tarot signatures and Orion signatures, but you gotta admit, if you keep getting hit by the same sig, is it really the character at that point? What you guys need to start doing is learning the hitboxes and recovery frames with these signatures in training mode. See how far they hit, how long the moves last, how you need to position yourself to punish these moves. If you put everything I talked about in this video into practice, such as actually focusing on your gameplay, utilizing different movement options and mixing up your dodge options, you will be able to punish these 6 spammers, because in reality, they aren't good at the game at all. That's gonna be it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. I worked really hard on this so I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe as usual. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite weapon in Brawlhalla? Mine is Spear, I just love being able to read people's dodges off sideline and just getting that true 60 damage combo, it's just so nice. Anyways, I'll tell you guys later in the next video, should be releasing soon, and peace.